Okay, we're good to go. Hi, this is uh, Brianna's bassoon lesson video, and I have here my best friend, Christopher Marcella. Hi. Goes by Chris, and we're going to have some fun today, and we're going to start the bassoon. Are you excited? <laughs> so excited! <laughs> oh my god! It's uh, pretty early in the morning, but we're going to start the day off right and uh, put some bassoons together. So, what do you see here on the floor? Of the bassoon case? Yeah. So we're going to open this bassoon case. <laughs> okay. All right. So make sure you take the two sides out first. You're not going to be able to see this on the video, but you know what's going on down here. Okay. All right. Just push them outwards. Oh. Mm -hmm. There you go. There's a briefcase, kind of. And then there's a middle uh, oh, one in there, too. One. Okay. And just lift up the top. I'm already failing. <laughs> ah, okay. Yep. You're, you're, you're done. Time to go. All right. <laughs> So then, um, you open the case, there's a lot of shiny parts in here. Yeah. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to ignore those shiny parts first, and we're going to take out your seat strap, okay? Wherever that may be in here. Here it is. You actually have a boot, kind of like a little cup for your, um, for soon. Okay. So what we're going to do is you're gonna, actually going to stand up out of our chairs, okay? And we're going to unravel it. And for you, you're going to put it on the on the right side there. I'm going to put my hook on the right side. You want to put it on the top, like the top third of the chair. So higher, higher up. <clears throat> there we go. And you're going to want your butt, like, is it right there? Okay. Okay. So go ahead and sit down then. And we'll adjust it once we get the bassoon together. But it should kind of hang off a little bit right there. Okay. Is that too much? Oh, the boot is on the wrong side, actually. Or the cup. Oh, yeah, I figured that. Yep. Like, is it? Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's going to be, yeah, we'll adjust it, but it'll be pretty good. Okay, so then um, we're going to go, um, we're going to assemble it from bottom to top. Okay. okay? So we're going to take the first joint, which is the boot joint. Okay. This one. Yeah, the nice big heavy one. Okay. If you notice it, it has, um, sometimes it has two holes, but you're just going to be fitting that cup right into there. So we're going to okay. put this on the ground. Okay. And then what do you notice here? There's um, a bigger hole and a smaller hole? Yes, perfect. Now we have two middle joints here that are respectively smaller and larger. So you just put those in? Right. Okay. Um, now take out the smaller one and look at it pretty okay. closely. We have this kind of like contour that the, um, the larger joint or the base joint will be fitting into. So we're gonna put this one in first, okay? So take it so you have your thumb holes facing you, okay? Or you know, your thumb holes, your th thumb keys, okay. <laughs> and you're gonna just place that right in there because they're they're um they don't have cork, they have string. Mm -hmm. It just you don't need to like really screw it in too much. Kind of just folds in, and then we're gonna take. So this is our wing joint, by the way. Okay. Okay. Then we're gonna take our base joint, exactly how it comes in the case, and just flip it up like that with the larger part actually on top, which it immensely confuses me. Yeah. Um, the bassoon is a very quirky instrument. So you're just going to fit it right in there just to be careful not to bang any keys and you might have to turn it a little bit. And then put this in that. There hole. you go. You got it. Oh, it locked. Cool. Yep. It locked. I'm having a little trouble with mine. Come on, Brianna. <laughs> I think it's because it's not, this isn't rotated. Oh, there it goes. Well, oh no. It didn't seem to go in the, there we go. That's better. Okay. Just make sure I don't want to break anything. <laughs> and then uh, we have uh, one more big piece here, and this is called our bell joint. Okay? okay. So the important thing to know about this is that we want this key pressed down so that when we put it in, that fits right over that little piece. Yeah, that piece right there. Just like that. Perfect. And then you see this lovely fox logo right there. Okay, so are we done yet? What? Are we done? I mean, you have to put the mouthpiece in. Yeah, that's what, what I was it? asking you. Oh. What <laughs> this the is a, This is not exactly a mouthpiece, though. What's it called? This is called... Oh, I just banged it. It's called a vocal. Oh, yeah. That's right. B O C A L. Yeah. And you notice that it has kind of this really, 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 really Weird minuscule circle. hole. It's actually a... It's kind oh. of like a... A key in a sense but we'll talk about that so um we have to be very very careful with these because they're so fragile and they cost over two thousand dollars just for this piece itself oh my god yeah <laughs> so you want to take it by the crook here and just 
push down gently. And you might have to kind of do some wiggle motion here. This one is not corked or greased at all. And then you want that hole to line up with this pad here, okay? Got, oh, I get it. That's called the whisper key right there. It's like this? <laughs> yeah, just like that. Make sure it's as far in as, it, as you can get it. Okay. Um, some band teachers tell bassoons to uh, tune at this joint, and you do not do so. You, you can't move that or the reed. Yeah, I can't case. imagine. Why would you? It's so hard to, like... Yeah. That's definitely the wrong thing to do. Okay, so then I have a read for you, but I don't have a read for me. Um, but I didn't, like, I've um, cleaned it okay. since I'm sick. Um, so he's just going <laughs> to play it with this. Um, and if you need any help with, um, like, embouchure and stuff, like, I can help you with that. Okay, so first, um, what are we going to do? I'm wondering if we should do the read stuff first or get your bassoon kind of settled. Um, let's do the read stuff first. So I'll hold this, okay? okay? And you can go ahead and close your case since it'll be kind of in the way, okay? I don't know if you can see me very well. But, um, so we have uh, a nice double read right here. Um, and a good thing to know about double reads is that you need to soak them before you go ahead and play. Um, because of the double reads, right? Um, with a single read, you can just stick it in your mouth and it can be fully soaked. But with a double read, why do you think we'd have to submerge it in water for it to get fully soaked? Um, because it's... It's a hard question, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I don't know. Um, because the two insides, we can't necessarily soak oh, with yeah. just our mouth, right? So that's why when we put it in water, it gets it both gets a, sides of each read, okay? Um, so for an embouchure of a bassoon, um, kind of a thing that we say in our class is to say the O oh in the Minnesota. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So you usually think like with bassoons and oboes that they have kind of a straight lace mouthpiece yeah. or a straight lace embouchure. That's actually the wrong thing to do. You want your corners nice and tucked in, okay? So you want equal sides, kind of like a... A drawstring bag yeah. and equal pressure on all sides. Okay. It's very similar to clarinet in that aspect. Got it. Um, so making sure that the, those corners are nice and tight, making a O oh sound. So like your 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 um, I almost said cheeks. Your um your lips are out a little bit, kind of uh -huh. like that. Okay, but nice and firm. Do you want to try buzzing on the reed first? Sure. And the lips aren't tucked in. They aren't tucked in. No. There you go. You got okay. your first sound. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Try using a little more air. There we go. That's awesome. Great job. Okay, so now we're gonna um, we're gonna take that, let it soak a little more, and then we're gonna put our bassoons on our bodies so that you can start playing. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So for you, you have this boot joint, right? So I'm gonna hold it while you stick it in. Put it in there. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Just got it. Yep. So now, um, for holding the bassoon, they, uh, it's going to be way too far down. So what you're going to do is you're going to lift your leg yeah, up a little bit and pull it. Yep. Way. Yep. Perfect. I'm going to get my hook on. I'm going to show you kind of the. Oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> Oopsie. We didn't break anything. I promise. Um, Does it even need to be like a little taller? We want to make sure it goes across our bodies. That's the biggest thing, and it's oh, kind of it's resting on our right leg here, okay? Right so it should feel very natural, and uh, Dr. Markhorn said it, would, it It should be in the closest place where you can almost balance it and it can just stay there. But we don't want to do that. Oh yeah, obviously. But yeah, so it should feel very natural. You should be able to reach all of the keys here, and Nothing the about vocals this should, <laughs> the vocals okay. should come to you. You shouldn't be able to, you shouldn't have to come oh, to the vocal. So what do I do? Okay, so this is too high or too low for you? Too low. So then right. we want to pull this up even more, okay? Logic, Christopher, logic. Okay. You're still crook, or you're still, it's still feel like you're, um, you're, con you're um, so, constricting your body a little so bit. So it's still too... It's still too low, yep. Here. Okay. There we go. That looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. Okay, okay. great, great. Does that feel a little better? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go through um, kind of just the first three notes here, and then I'll have you try and play them. Um, there are a lot of thumb keys. I don't know if you noticed that, um, but yeah. there's a lot. This instrument is confusing. There's, 
I think 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Sorry. There's many things. Yeah, 13. A lot of, lot of fun keys. The one, only one we'll need to worry about in this lesson is this one right here. Okay. That uh, one. Yep, that's the whisper key. Do you see what, what it's moving? Yeah. Right there, that little joint right there. And it's called the whisper key because it uh, it kind of, um, it opens this, or it closes it, sorry. Um, but it doesn't make a, like a noticeable difference if you if you play F, which is the note we're going to be learning, you play F without it or with it. But it's just, it, it increases like kind of the resonance okay. of the instrument and closes that off and lets it kind of flow through the instrument a little more. <coughs> Sorry if you can't understand me right now. No, I can't. I, you're clear. <coughs> okay, so we're going to put this reed on the vocal. Um, once again, just twisting it in as far as you can. Okay. And a good, um, just another like side tip for the reeds, um, if they have kind of a dime, if you're looking into the reed and it has like a diamond shape, that means it's well soaked. If it's too open, that means it's over soaked. If it's closed, like, you know, kind of like parallel to each other, it's, uh, it's too um, dry. Oh, is that good? Yeah, that looks great. And then, um, you, it doesn't have to be kind of like with the vocal, it can be turned a little bit so that it would fit to your mouth kind oh, of thing, yeah. Okay. So if it's know. angled a I little bit. No, that, that's probably bad. I feel like I'm gonna break it. No, 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 you, you won't break it, I promise. I won't let you. There, that looks oh, fine. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't have to turn your head you in order to, to play it. Yeah. Okay, so are you ready to do this? Yeah. Make let me see your Minnesota O. Oh. oh. Okay, perfect. Now just hold this whisper key down and then um, if just kind of rest your right hand in supporting the instrument there. Um, there's another thing that we can use as a rest, but it's not uh, extremely important. Okay. So just put that whisper key down and try and play it out. Oh. Look at that. Is that it? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, for your embouchure, you had it perfect until you got to the reed and then you went back. Okay. Okay, so just try and think about that. Oh. So then we're going to add another key. Okay. Um, if you can kind of swing your bassoon around to kind of look where your, your, your fingers will be going. This is going to be your first finger, your second finger, and your third finger. So we're just going to put down the whisper key and the first finger. Okay. okay. Like that. That's going to be our E. That sounded like the F. I can see the, <laughs> my ears are good enough to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Chris was a composition major at one point. Okay. What? What now? Just the first finger and the whisper key. Okay. Okay. So this is right. Yeah. Try it again. <laughs> That's okay, definitely try, that. try just the F again. <laughs> no. Am I just that no. out of tune? No, no, no. Just play your F and then add the E. <laughs> there you go. Okay. You might have been pushing something down here. Oh, okay. <laughs> so much pressure here just make okay. sure it's nice and firm because you're you're shaking a little bit so okay. just um keep this um like don't tense it up too much um i don't want to see like any teeth on the reed of course but yeah. um just try and use more of your your lips as a support kind of okay. again on an e there we go it's a little better Weird. Yeah, really weird. Definitely weird. <laughs> okay, then we're going to add our second finger. And the second hole. Yep, right there. Um, I know because you've played some woodwind instruments that um, sometimes it's a hard concept to like think about covering holes completely, but I think you look pretty good. Yeah, I've played so just, an open hole three times. Oh, that's right. Yeah, open hole. Sometimes. I know how to do it. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't doubt you. <laughs> I know. So then just do your thumb one and two for D, okay? <laughs> tell that it's really kind of hard to control like all of the overtones and things yeah, like that the yeah. that's what's that's what the challenge is um i think it's a really cool instrument because it's like a new challenge every day and you have to like combat those it's a lot of like 
you have to have this really like strong instinct about where the pitch is all the time. Yeah, exactly. Which is that's you know, crazy. I think you take like other instruments for granted, like flute. Really? You're like, oh, this is gonna be a D, and then it's a D. You know, it might be a little out of tune, but it's gonna be a D. Right. <laughs> well, the same with string instruments too. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's like, eh, hey, that's forty cents sharp. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to add our third finger, and that's going to cover, yep, that ring, and that's going to be our, think about D, the pattern, D, F, E, D, D, C, yeah, C, it's it's going down, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, okay, go ahead. Great job. Now, um, you know, in a normal band setting, you'd want to try and get your um, your instruments or your, your players to get a B flat out right away. But B flat is a lot harder on the bassoon to like have as your first note. That's why I started you on the F because Let's, it's just one finger. Can I try the B flat? You can try the B flat. Um, it's whisper key F. Okay. okay. We're just going to go down E, D, and C. And then we're going to look at the, our bottom four. Um, uh, thumb <laughs> so many thumb keys. Yes. Yeah. Take the first thumb key uh -huh. and then one and two down here. So that's gonna be your first this. hole and the ring. Yeah. Got it. That's a B flat. <coughs> that is a B flat. Okay. you're going to want to relax even more. Yeah, because I can feel like air coming right here. Mm -hmm. it just kind because of... you, if you, if you're, if you're, um, your whole like work oh, here is. is too tight, that you'll, you'll start getting the higher pitches actually. Okay. So try that again. Sorry. No, it's okay. I want to see these come in a little <laughs> more. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Try it just on the C. Okay. Don't worry about the B flat. That's what I was doing. Yay! I think. Go Woodwind players. I think. All right. Cool. Well, I think we're pretty good on time. So why don't you say bye to Dr. Mockerberg? Bye. Bye. Thank you.